to coding casually and today what we're gonna do is we'll try to make an android application using a platform called kiwi and this uh, application can be used on a desktop as well or on a different operating system as well if you don't want to convert it into an apk that's fine you can use the same application on windows on mac on linux and other application and other operating systems so in order to use kiwi what you need to do is first of all you need to have an ide on which you will be coding so i'm using visual studio code and you can use something of your own if you want to use it if you want to use it on pycharm that's fine if you want to use it on sublime text that is also fine if you want to use it on jupyter notebooks that is also fine so in order to use a uh, kiwi on your system what you need to do is you need to install kiwi and its dependencies as well so in order to install kiwi i will show you uh, four links on my system and you can run each of them uh, by line by line so the first one is which installs kiwi the second one is which will upgrade the setup tools the third one will install the dependencies of pywin32 and then it will the fourth one will install the other dependencies of kiwi so as i was telling you you know kiwi can so like other guis for python tk inter and others Kiwi is specifically which is which follows a grid layout uh, in an object oriented form and is suitable for making Android applications and desktop applications as well. So this is going to be a basic uh, application development and then if you want to convert it into an Android application that is also fine. So in order to use Kiwi in order to make an Android application from it what you need to do is it's a simple format what you need to write here is from Kiwi we will uh, from kiwi dot app we will import app in uppercase and then from kiwi uh, what we're gonna do is we'll import uix and then we'll import uh, the widget that we want to use so we want to use text input and we'll write import text input so similarly you can copy this and then paste and then paste another line just because i want it to be a label so i'll write label and i'll write label here i'll remove this and i'll use i already have text input i want button so i'll write button and i'll change here and write button i can copy and paste this again and then i'll paste the same and then I want grid layout and instead of button here we'll write grid layout so this is the overall requirement of to make the Android application through Kiwi but I want the buttons of the widget I mean the buttons that I'll be putting in the Android application or in or the desktop application whatever we're making right now totally it's up to your discretion whether you want to convert it into an Android application or not I'll import request and I'll import beautiful soup as well and I'll tell you why I'm importing beautiful soup and request that is to give the functionality to the button that we'll be making so I have imported beautiful soup now my job is to create an app so what I'll do is I'll make a class and that I will name uh, my app and in this I'll write app and then I'll define the build function which is used to build the application I'll write build self is something that you won't remove that is absolutely fine and then you'll retain uh, uh, another class that you'll be making that will suppose we'll name it my grid and then open close and before we go ahead we'll make that class as well and we'll name it my grid and then this class will have the grid layout this one that we want to target and then what we'll do is uh, we'll define an initialization function which is the in it function we'll write space in it space and then we'll open up the bracket we'll consume self and then we expect different variables to come in and I write quarks 
okay and then what's gonna happen is so that you know we can put anything into it i'll write super and just because the name of the app is my grid what i'll do is i'll write my grid dot self and then sorry not my grid dot self will be comma myself and then what's gonna happen is we'll again initialize it by passing an initialization function and then of course we're expecting different uh, things to come in so we'll write quags and then we'll press enter so now we will defining how many rows we need so i need four rows for this application to work so i'll write self dot rows equals to four and then i'll start adding widget so first i'll add a label and i'll give it the text of covid 19 cases information and then what i'll do is i'll write the name of the text input that i'm looking for so i'll write text or i should rather write uh, my text information and that would act as a text input for me and then what i'll do is i'll add widget and that will be self dot my text information so this is how you add uh, a widget in it so i've already added this one we have added uh, this one as well which is the my text information so before that what we can do is we would need uh, the label as well in which we'll put result so i'll write self dot result equals to or rather than result tag equals to label and then i'll give it the information of result and then this one so what's gonna happen now is this is the similar way that you know you use tk into as well but this is ha this has a different concept altogether this has this purely works on uh, object model so now what we're gonna do is we'll create a button as well and then button add will be a button and then i'll give it a text of uh, show and then i'll add this so i have to write self dot button add and then what i'll do is i like the other widgets that we have added on through the gui what I can do here is self dot add widget and self dot button add. So if you don't want to write self, that is also fine, but I would recommend you to write it. So if you want to run the button like this, this would also work. You can just copy and paste the other button. This would also work. And then what we need to do is we need to give it uh, the binding function so that I can call upon the functions that I want to target. So what I'll do here is I'll write button dot add dot bind uh, That is something which is similar to tk inter as well and on press what I want is I want to target a function called get information that inf that function is not right now here uh, But we will make it uh, so on press we are targeting this function and now what we can do is we can write this function here So do remember that this function will be aligned to this one if you would put it over here He would the debunk button would not be able to detect it So that is why you have to make the indentation right as well and this will consume self and then instance and then We'll call upon the function that we want to make so right now what we can do is without giving much of the functionality to it we can just check where how things work so i'm pressing i'm writing the button press but we did not declare anything which will cause the application to run what we can do here is then we can write name equals to main and then what's going to happen is we want my app which is this one to run so what's gonna happen here is the my app will run from here and this will return the grid which we have made here 
and we'll press ctrl s and we'll try to run the file and right now we do not build any functionality yet which will pull out the information but let's check uh, how things are working so we need to check whether we have added the information right as well because in our program what we can see is that this is present this is also present and this is also present but result label is not present so we have to add that result page as well so what we can do here is like we have written this we can write this and instead of my information we can copy and paste here so now what's gonna have, i'm gonna run it again so you'll see four rows and four different widgets the first one is the this one which is covid19 cases information the second one is the result and the fourth one is the show in between we have at the text input right and the but the moment we press this show button i mean this show you'll see that you know this function has worked so if you would have if you would have followed my channel i have made um scraper as well to scrape the information from a site called world covid information so what you can do is i have already made this uh, scraper which is easily to be used i mean you can use it without any issues so what happens here is we need to check whether we are pulling the right information this is the right information that we're pulling it from and this is the function right so what exactly this function does uh, this pulls out the details from that site which is worldometers.info and this is the country name that we'll be using so now what we can do is we have to push the data back so we can write self dot result tag which is th the result label and then we can write text equals to total cases equals to plus now we'll uh, go ahead and use the list that we have created and just because we want to know the total cases we'll use the zero index this gives me the death index as well this gives me the recovery rate as well but for this purpose what we'll do is we'll only pull out the total cases right now let's run this uh, application and let's see what we have and the moment if i write us here and i'll press show this will pull out the information and gives me this one let's try a different country altogether let's try india and this gives me the total cases of india as well this is how this application work if you want to convert it again i'm telling you if you want to convert the same into an android application you need to download bulldozer and that will do the work for you if you want to know how to convert this application into an apk apk file you can simply comment below and i will make a video on how you can convert the same into an apk we will do a series on android application on using kiwi and these uh, frameworks only to build more complex more uh, fancy applications more intuitive applications if you think that you know this video was resourceful to you please press the like button share it with your friends and please subscribe to the channel